Good evening, YouTube. We're here for a look around the camp. Say hello to uh, Santa Bushcraft. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to put the stick up here so we can see now the camps around us. I'm sorry about the length of the stick, but it's only a short selfie. If you have a look around, it's approximately 25 to 9 in the evening. And it's only started to spit, slightly spitting of rain. And uh, if you have a look around slightly, you've got, I think it's uh, animal tendencies over there, it's back to us. I'll find out later on for you guys. If you look around, you've got some guys waiting. Ha 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 ha. And uh, there's a lovely guy set up here, a lovely French army tent there. Good on him. As you come back down. <coughs> Plenty of stuff to see to go more, guys. Uh, we've got Les Hitton, is there? Mm. He's a um, bus trucker man. man from Australia. Uh, we're looking forward to see meeting him. Um, last year, me and my old man went outside one of the toilets, <laughs> got to meet Cody Lundin, and uh, he was quite good because when he came out of the toilet, we asked him if we could have a chat, and he turned around, yeah, man, no problem. He stood there and had a chat with us for about five minutes, and then uh, he had to excuse himself then because he was doing uh, some uh, hour training sessions with some guys, and uh, we, were, uh, we were glad to have full photographs. Um, I will, he's on my he's on my Facebook page as well. I have a picture of me and me with him, my father with him, and uh, we have a look at our set up in here. Our uh, set up here. Yeah. We've got our cookers. We've got our tents and all our stuff. We're just going to sleep in tonight. And we've got our old faithful car here. Yeah. Lovely Volvo S70. Brilliant machine. Anyone wants to buy? Anyone wants to buy it? Two point four, less than hundred thousand miles on the clock. Got no advisories on his MT uh, for the next one. We're only asking for a thousand quid. <laughs> so yeah, I will be editing this video, guys, because there are some shit bloody photography. <laughs> photography going. This is my first time going for it. So um, we will be asking now. Well, uh, Santa Bushcraft, what's your pet hates about some of these pro, uh, people in uh, Bushcraft show, attending the Bushcraft show? People who drink too much with big mouths and swear a lot. There's a lot of kids about. What do you think, or what, do you, what else do you think about um, these guys walking about dressed, uh, play, are they playing army or are they yeah. Bushcrafting or what? There are real, real people here who know what they're doing and there's there always those who are playing soldiers in the woods who, in my words, are covered in crap they don't know how to use. Well, you mean these ones who are wearing uh, these fall living trousers, right? They haven't got a speck of dirt on them. That's just it. 100 pounds pairs of trousers with not a speck of dirt on them. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's Santa Bushcraft for you guys, right? He is uh, a man of his own, man of his word. Um, I will tell you this, right? He was in the Navy for 13 years. Um, we didn't do a lot of bushcrafting. He, he did do um, um, survival courses. He was uh, a fire, uh, doing a lot of stuff with firefighting on a support ship, um, firing loads of uh, um, mach you know, machine guns, guns and uh, rifles, pistols, right? Pistols, you name it. You most probably have done Demolition, it. Demolition, using explosives. And um, I will tell you now, right, that this guy, right, knows his business. Um, Unfortunately, he missed his family too much, so he wanted to stay, be on with his family. That's why he retired after 13 years in the Navy. He also works with disabled children and disabled people now, which, uh, if you hear some of the, the stories without names, um, of how good his days, his days have been, right? You will you you laugh your ass off. Right, guys? Um, I will come back to you later on, either tonight or tomorrow. So, uh, we'll see you then. I'm just going to take a lovely photograph now with my lovely new camera. See if it works. Go. Cool. That's one photograph taken. I'm going to take another take a photograph of myself. 
This one's going to be ugly as hell, ready for it. Cool. <laughs> Hopefully I got taken photographs. My camera that I bought, 120 quid. It's a, it's a Sony camera, absolutely fantastic. It's got a um, Carl Zeiss, I think is it, cam lens. Um, it's got 54 type zoom on it. Um, outstanding camera to be honest. The functions on here are amazing. When I want to take a, when I'm doing a video, if I want to take a photograph, there's a button on top of the camera which I can take photographs while still filming. And uh, I just hope when I can play the video back, I don't get this stupid bloody square on around my face all the time, which uh, zooms into my face. Um, which is kind of put off putting to be honest. So, uh, I'm ugly enough with a little box of bloody thing around my head. Oh guys. This um the mag guy from uh from the bus craft show Mac Brooks Craft magazine. He's the editor, he's the guy who's organised this old uh uh trip, what's his name? Simon Heller. Simon Heller? What's that Simon Heller? Simon. Oh, that's a good little dubia. You ask permission if you're going to film because oh, there, there are rules on the website because these are public people. All oh, right. And okay. obviously that lady doesn't. I don't know if it's going to go on the oh, internet right, or right, your right. personal yeah. use. Yeah. It's just it's oh, right. right you filming each other. Oh, yeah. But when we've got public in it, you just need to be aware that they. Okay. Yeah. Are no problem. Be, be on the internet. Most probably so, editing it out anyway yeah, to make a video shorter. There's rules in the terms and conditions to not oh, right. film public, particularly children as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah.